A very warm greeting to one and all. This is Akshay from Narish IT and today we are going to discuss about the concept of time and work. Now what is time and work? You people know it. In this video, you will get to know one day work concept. Now time and work. Time and work. Now, let's take an example for explaining the concept of time and work. Suppose Ganesh can able to do a piece of work in 5 days, calculate his one day work. Now, this is what a concept, okay? Ganesh can do a piece of work in 5 days, calculate his one day work. Now, after reading this, you might have known the answer of this question is 1 by 5. Now, how 1 by 5 is the answer of this question, I'll explain. My dear student, who is Ganesh? Is a person. Okay? He is completing a piece of work. He is completing his work in how many days? 5 days. Suppose this is what? Suppose Ganesh is painting this wall, okay, this is the wall and Ganesh is having a piece of work to paint this wall. Now he takes 5 days to complete the wall, okay, he takes 5 days, okay, Ganesh can do a piece of work in 5 days, okay, calculate his 1 day work. Suppose on 1st day Ganesh is completing this work, 2nd day this work, 3rd day this work, four day this work and at the last this work he will be doing. So how many parts? One, two, three, four, five. Now on first day out of five which kind of part he is doing? First part. So his one day work is one by five. Second day which part he is doing? One by five. Third day again, 1 by 5. Fourth day again, 1 by 5. Fifth day again, 1 by 5. That means on every single day, he is completing work as 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 1 by 5. Yes, now? If I am adding this all the work, then what I will be getting? 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 by 5. Then what I will be getting? I am adding this all the works. What I am getting? It's a 5 by 5. Denominator is same, considered as 1's. Numerators are different, added. That is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 5. Which is what? 5 by 5, nothing but 1. Now this is what? 1. So what is this 1? This 1 is work completed. So that means this complete work what we have considered one single unit. So from this point I would like to say that work is always considered as one single unit. So what I was saying work is always considered as one single unit okay so from this things we can understand one thing like if a person can do a complete work in five days so his one day work is one by five if a person can do work in four days his one day work is one by four if a person can complete piece of work in three days then his one day work is one by three yes next question ram can do a piece of work In five days, Sham can do the same piece of work in four days if Ram and Sham can do 
the work together then in how many days the work will complete this is what simple question of time and work now let us see how to tackle with such kind of the questions ram can do a piece of work in 5 days sham can do the same piece of work in 4 days if ram and sham can do the work together then in how many days the work will complete that means what we have to cal calculate in how many days the work will be finished now what is this how to calculate it's a very simple let us calculate the one day work of ram and one day work of sham first of all now what is one day work of ram one day work of ram is 1 by 5 what is one day work of sham one day work of sham is 1 by 4 if i am adding one day work then what i will be getting like 4 Plus five divided by four into five. Four plus five will be nine. This is what nine divided by twenty, and this is what in one day they have done this work. So this is one day work of Ram and one day work of Sham. I have added, and after addition, I will be getting nine by twenty. So this nine by twenty is what one day work of together. One day work of Ram and Sham. so if i want to calculate the how many number of days will they people required then i have to reciprocate it that means 20 by 9 this is what your answer now i want to tell you people that why i have not added 5 days and 4 days directly because if we are adding 5 plus 4 it will be 9 and that is what number of days but in the question they have asked us like the question is in this way that how many days will required to complete the work so this is what 20 by 9 days they will be requiring to complete the work not like 5 plus 4 they are working together now this is what the second question i am reading the question if a can do a piece of work in 3 days and b can do the same piece of work in 2 days if they both are if they both are working together for one day only then the fraction of work left is now first of all for tackle this kind of question what we have to do is we have to add their one day work now what is one day work of a one day work of a is 1 by 3 what is one day of one day work of b one day work of b is 1 by 2 now if i will be calculating one day work of both that means a plus b both are working together their one day work i am adding here what is that 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 then what answer i will be getting here like 2 plus 3 divided by 2 3 is a 6 again this is what 2 plus 3 5 5 by 6 that means in one day they are completing 5 by 6th work now what is of our question if they both are working only for one day then the fraction of work left is my dear student as we know that work is always considered as one single unit they are both completing the work in that means one work they both are completing one work so what they have asked us if they both are working only for one day then fraction of work is left is this fraction of work left is means what what is remaining work and what is remaining work that is what from total from total work we are subtracting the work completed in one day that is what 5 by 6 1 minus 5 by 6 will be 6 minus 5 upon 6 that is what 1 by 6 that means this 1 by 6 fraction of work which is left this is what how to tackle with the questions so i am explaining it again what i have done first of all one day work of a is 1 by 3 one day work of b is 1 by 2 then both are working for one day a plus b work 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 that is what i have calculated 5 by 6 this 5 by 6 is what both are working together only for one day now the question is that if they both are working for one day then what is fraction of work which is left that what i have considered work why because i have explained already work is always considered as one single unit from that one single unit i am subtracting this completed work so that i will be getting this 1 by 6 which is nothing but your remaining work 
as you know this how to do fraction subtraction this is 1 minus 5, uh, 5 by 6 which is what 6 ones are 6 minus 5 6 minus 5 divided by this 6 and this is what 1 by 6 this is what the fraction of work which is left so this is what your time and work concept this is what just two questions i have explained uh, for more questions you need to wait for a few days again and thank you for watching this video under Naresh IT.